Hello and welcome. Let's model this drawing eyelid with OnShape. So I will start with the sketch on the front plane. Draw a construction line here. Go over there. Dimension this distance with uh, 42. Can you there for uh, a three point arc? More here. We can apply a midpoint constraint between an arc and an endpoint then a vertical constraint here give that a dimension of 58 continue with a line give that line an angular dimension of 12 degrees then arc from here from there something like that again that midpoint constraint between that arc and that endpoint and again a vertical constraint here and an equal constraint between those two I'll mirror that top line down there and then one construction line here dimension that horizontal distance here with 32 and that horizontal distance with uh, 28. We get a fully defined sketch. I'll exit that. And go into the revolve, the surface revolve. I'll just pick that sketch. Revolve that around that axis. But make that a uh, symmetric um, revolve with the value, angular value of 210 degrees. All right, we got our first surface body. I'll keep that um, sketch visible. And I'll go into the split command and split this face with the top plane. And I'll go back to the revolve, take that curve again with that axis, make that a new surface body. And again, as a, as a new body. So we had that 210. So that'll be 150 to make that a full circle there. Next, um, we will create a new plane from that right plane, go into the offset and um, with a value of 55. Then just mirror those two bodies over that plane. You can hide that. And go into the transform of those two. Rotating that around that edge with the 90. 90 degrees. 
Okay. Now, let's um, make a loft surface, loft, with uh, this profile. And I'll choose match curvature of that face. And then loft that with that profile. Again, end condition is match curvature of that one. Make that a new body. So let's um, mirror that part across the front plane. And use the full command here. Picking those edges here. All right. Again, that's a new body. Um, we need to improve um, the transition between surfaces. So whenever you hover over one curve, uh, like this one, okay, it turns yellow. So now go into curvature and pick that face where you want this tra transition. For the next one, that ridge, I just want to keep that at position. And this one, the third one, again with the curvature continuity, then it's that one here, with that face, and finally this one, with that face. Okay, and again, this one just stays in position. All right, now we can delete this part and mirror that surface over the top plane. There it is. And then we can mirror that one and that one over the top plane. And finally, let's fill this gap here with that same technique. I'll start at the ridge here. That one, one here. And this one. The new body. And again, I started here. Second one is that one. Curvature, take that one. Next ridge, no, that one here. Curvature to that face. And that curvature to that face. Finally, curvature to that one. All right, and again, delete that body, make a mirror of that part over the front plane. You can hide that sketch and well, let's make a boolean operation. We got 10 surfaces. I want to select and turn all this into one solid part. I'll change the appearance. Um, dark gray. Maybe uh don't want to see the tangent edges. I'm going to shade it without edges. 
And then just for looks, we'll go into the fillet with six millimeters. Pick uh, one edge here with a tangent propagation. And that one. And maybe apply some appearance uh, just to that feature. And there it is. Our twirling eyelet. Uh, modeled with uh, surface tools and on shape. I hope you like this video and I see you in the next one.